You know, I heard a lot of people like to start over and they weren't happy. There's a few people that I know they're like, oh, they made a decision that they didn't like and they started the entire game over. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. That's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna suck it up and deal with my game. Whatever happens, happens. Then the top of my reason. Hey, Logan Robertson, all American asshole. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. The hell, I mean. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Awesome. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Max, I'd like Sweet. to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Hi, Kate. Nice. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's weird. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. And he's not creepy, just X Files weird. No wonder. Howdy, Samuel. Mother, well, you can't do that. Hello there. Oh, he sounds like a fucking creep. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. He sounds like there's so many people that I can already establish a motive that they probably do something to her. After I sweep, I paint. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. Okay. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chicklet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse yes. me. Oh. Hi, Max. Yeah. What do you read? Love to de Good point. Wow, well, okay. Nice, bro. Dude. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, no. Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> oh my God. Slap the shit out of you. Nobody with that an eye. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. 
We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Wow, oh, really? yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? This rain sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Keep walking, hippie. Oh. I need to figure this out. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. What the hell? All right. And now for the Kurega. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Take a picture of her. Take a fucking picture of her. Oh, man. She looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh... Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. 
But there'll be another. Well, you mm. always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Yeah, comfort their comfort them. I hope those after. sluts give me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. Awesome. That was mean, but pretty funny. Yeah. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Dude. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Uh... Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. No. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Ah. Uh. Uh. Get yeah, past this fucking time. Victoria probably played me. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Welcome to Black Hill. 19. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. As if. Juliet, extreme reporter. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. At least that's an alarm from this century. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. We get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Dealer on campus, observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are and where you're going. Always report any incident immediately to campus authorities. Okay, that's good. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Actually, I only know Neil Gaiman. Because uh, I think with Salmon, that's all I know. Thanks for the warning. Nice, that's a nice screen pairing. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. They live. <laughs> how, can I, how, how bad could that be? Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? I don't know. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. 
How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. This game is very cinematic, I'll say that much. Really, really good visual fields. Good eye pictures. And thought thinking. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. I see. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Here's my go-to source for instant photo and Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. But, I mean, you, so can you. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Who wore braces? Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn? I just noticed that. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Ah, uh, crap. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? Very I hipster. Don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I know that feel. Most of the time, you know, people just, you know, don't maintain the bridges. Just so on the road. Cheesy, but and they bail that big bridges burn. Thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. 
We Max are who we may concern. The cinematic contents of this flash drive have a graphic life altering controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and either way you end up with music cannibal holocaust that culture fiction. Culture fiction. Okay. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Life. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, you why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. You I locked Dana Juliet. in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You, so you know her. Wait. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. That's... According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. I hope you view, the, view yourself together in hell. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Wait yes. a minute. I don't care what the thing is. That's one of the best Oh, wow, what a weird time to get, like, a host room. Uh, sorry, uh, follow alert. Uh, oh, man, Lucky Spoon Streams. Thanks for following. If you want to see, uh, non-emotional, like, accurate picking of best endings of things. Oh, the wrong person.
but I like how they just oh, casually so snuck long. in Final Fantasy spirits I within. Find proof fast. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Oh. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Wow. That is a... Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Wow, she has a lot of friends and a lot of subscribers. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. You know, it's funny, I didn't even read the email. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Taylor, sat there informed me that I totally punked Julia and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass believed me and I saw I exp Really? That's how she spelled dumbass? As? Dumbass. Dumbass. Okay, fine. So I expect her to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get your popcorn out. X, X, D, C. Wow, what a terrible person. I should have just shit on here when I had a chance. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> uh. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Ouch. At least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Uh, she got rejected. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Speaking of selfies. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a card <laughs> is emerging. She's gonna remember that one. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I oh, owe shit, you yeah. Dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. <laughs> Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this to you so you might 
not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never said I had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know. X, uh, <laughs> was it shocked face Logan? Because he wouldn't be like XO. He'd be like, oh, look up to his rather shocked face. You fucking idiot. Of course, a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Am I no winning, mature. son? I... I don't know. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. I'll give that a shot, little Naito. How's it going tonight? Or this evening, wherever you are. I you should say, how's it going wherever you are? It's perfect. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. I'm yeah, okay. proud of you. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Thanks, Dad. I want to make my father proud. Yataze! Boyaji! You know what's funny? Usually when I, somebody says the words, uh, like, that, like, making your father proud, the first thing that comes to my mind is da Dan Hibiki from Spider. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. There's that damn flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Wow, I love this game. Stupid references. Bye. Oh, I got another text from Mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. You can always watch this. Hi, honey. You're pretty sunny. You know, he's concerned about your attitude, behavior, and you're not feeling well. Ah. Um, uh, fine. I should have never. Oh, fine. Where are you? This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Welcome. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Nice. Hey, Jock dumbass. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck you. Oh, you left me. One stretch of string. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Building. And I go to the parking lot. Oh, parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone.
You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. The hell? Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. I thought the I thought that would stop them. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Ugh. So you can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Who toilet papers a bike? Yeah, that doesn't actually make sense. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. A far bobblehead. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zach and Victoria. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Um, oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Really? Uh -huh. Hilarious. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Yo, Max, check it out. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? Look at Warren and his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? Uh, Toyota Toyota Here's your flash. Thanks. 
No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Oh, well. I bet. <gasps> I heard you got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. <laughs> science? Art is science. Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? Really? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. Yeah, I'm suck on the Warren, doctor. This is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, What are you bitch. talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! <laughs> Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the no. bathroom! <gasps> what? Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's me! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. 
You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. This is a long episode. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Why do like all, like, I don't know, just My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. Like, it's, okay, so there's it's a main haired out. blue chick in this one. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. There's another woman like that. There's a blue, pretty much uh, with blue hair. Oh my gosh, she smokes. Really? Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Chloe's trash overfloweth. Who'd have thunk Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Yep. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Is this a desk or a storage space? I think this junk swallowed her desks. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Amazing. It won't play without any power. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Three grand? There's the power strip. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Yeah. 
And he's gone now? This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. This really feels like that uh, Gone Home game. Did they make that? Were they visually inspired by Which came out first? Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> Dude, you broke my... Thanks. This looks like a laundry bag. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Why am I like just going? Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Hard to believe mm. Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Party all night. Not little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. So tell me. What is Max? I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. I know my room is a disaster, but you can find a disc. I think this junk swallowed her discs. She looks super happy. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. Where are her discs? Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Uh -oh, it was her girlfriend. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Ah, she's dead. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? 
Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deducted. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? While wow, I'm like tripping, all well, super ready. Is anyway, for me. you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay, I think I should call it. To The uh, storm is supposed to be heading my way shortly. I've been live for two hours. I didn't think I would be. that saved my progress I mean yeah should have right maybe I don't know like I spent way too much time telling people but I mean you have to when you're playing a game that you should talk to people anywho so we will get back to this I mean when the storm passes I know that's a <laughs> sequel prequel to this game but no literally like uh supposed to have a couple of storms it's supposed to rain the entire week so um i don't have my new surge protectors yet and I, like i said i've mentioned i lost uh lost my ps4 lost my neck and nighthawk my router so I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I still have my modem because it would have been a while before that. I'm, lu I'm lucky I have my computer. I'm lucky I have the stuff that matters, especially like my fridge, the TV. Because a lot of things, of everything that was hooked up, I lost two things. But like I said, things are replaceable and it's fine. You know, I try to not make it a big deal, but. You know, it really take either money to repair a PS4 or to get a new one, and it's just not feasible right now to kind of do either of those things. So, uh, I don't know when I'll be streaming PS4 stuff anytime soon. Maybe if I can get snag one at Black Friday. I don't know if that's. I mean, it's not within my means or get. Yeah, it's like I said, to get anything right now. That's just rambling anyway i charged my uh my ds my vita which doesn't make any sense about the vita part because i there's so many plus games i have and i haven't updated i didn't log in since i got my plus back so all the things i have downloaded on it four plus oh i'm tired stressed out about stuff for a neck here to get back to me. Belkin, I don't know. They're, they're not going to reimburse me for anything. And uh, hopefully, my new surge detectors will be in stock in a couple of days. They'll sign to me by next week. But until that moment, I think I'm just going to keep my computer unplugged. So, thanks everybody for watching. Following, thank you for hosting. Here, thank you everybody for dropping by. 
uh, do feel a bit distracted, I feel better. Did I pick the wrong things? Shit. It's gonna bug me all night tonight in my dreams. Alright. We'll be back, well, hopefully soon. I'll try to see if I can sneak in the stream between storms. And you will be seeing me playing Monster Hunter World at some point. I, uh, I don't know. I was <laughs> actually have to launch that. I, I, bought, I got it Thursday, and you know, I haven't launched it once. Opportunity did not come up. <laughs> Such is life. Anyway, Demon Kai Show. And you can take a picture of me. Hell, 